It was a history-making election night here in Pennsylvania. State Rep Austin Davis becoming the first black man elected lieutenant governor and Summer Lee, the first black woman elected to Congress from Pennsylvania. Let's bring in political editor John Delano once again for some reaction and analysis on all of this. First of all, the historical significance of Lee and Davis coming into office. Well, there's no question about it. This is very historic. Uh, let's start with Austin Davis, the first African-American elected lieutenant governor, number two position in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. He's also at age 32, <laughs> one of the youngest ever elected lieutenant governor. He's got a long future ahead of him. He was, of course, has been the state representative from the McKeesport area. He's represented a majority white district, so he's a successful African-American lawmaker who uh, really is not coming out of the inner city. He's somebody who's been part of the community in the Mon Valley where he grew up. And I think we're, we're all expecting some exciting things out of him in the years to come. And looking ahead to Summer Lee in Congress, how do her progressive right. politics compare to those of the man she'll be replacing, Mike Doyle? Well, <laughs> to be absolutely honest, night and day. I mean, there's no question that Mike Doyle, while he might vote progressive on a number of issues, that was not his focus. Mike Doyle was focused on bringing money back to Pittsburgh, to companies, to corporations, and particularly to universities. His focus was really on producing results, not on going to Washington and taking up a cause and making you know, points of issues. Summer Lee, uh, you know, she is a very strong progressive woman. She's obviously the first African-American woman elected to the Congress from Pennsylvania in American history. So, you know, applauds to her for that. Um, but it's going to be real. We're going to watch closely to see whether she joins the squad, becomes part of the uh, AOC crowd, and basically sounds off on lots of issues, or whether or not she's going to focus on constituent service and the kinds of delivery that Mike Doyle was well known for over his last 28 years. I think they're very different personalities. They have very different focuses. I think it's going to be very interesting contrast as we move forward. All for right. sure. John Delano, Thanks, thank John. you once sure. again.